I know. It's only a little while, I promise. I know. You're mad at mama. Yeah. You okay, Solace? You okay? So we're packing up for our move. It is June 21st, officially Father's Day. House is a mess as we're packing. Just some final things that we're now we did. We've been moving stuff gradually out. And yeah, only a couple of days left leaving in a few days and it's so much to do and like my head is just almost exploding this is our last um, weekday it's currently Friday June 26th we leave on Monday June 29th and let me show you what it's looking like let me flip my so I have to just renew my well not even renew I lost my driver's license and to renew it I have to be in this long line that's three lanes by the way I have to to replace it I should say I have to be in this long line and it's just ridiculous so yeah um, and I, we don't have much time left we just found out really a week ago a little over a week ago now that we were leaving on Monday um, because we, we didn't know, like, we, they, our date almost got pushed out again. Our move has been pushed around so many times. Let me take this off because I'm in the car. Our move has been pushed out so many times. So we weren't sure. So so many things that we, you know, didn't get to do one time. Like, our to-do list is just forever. I may have to come home, like, for a weekend or a couple of days to even get some stuff done. I'm sniffling because I have allergies. And it's the worst thing to have during a pandemic because everyone looks at you crazy. But yeah, I think I'm going to turn this into a car conversation. Or I don't know if it's going to be in the vlog for us leaving. But I just wanted you to get to see a part of the process. It's very stressful. Moving during a pandemic. I mean, I mean, you know, it's a lot of things people have been doing in pandemics. In the pandemic that have caused a lot of stress for example people have given birth alone so in the context of that i shouldn't be complaining but it is so frustrating to move during a pandemic like the stuff that you, it takes extra long to do all of the things that you need to do from cutting off your utilities to um you know like like for me this situation with having to get a new driver's license before i go like everything takes so long we're still working we're working from home and our bosses had an expectation of what we should do this week because we're out the whole of next week and so that was stressful like just it was a lot it just was so much not only that you don't get to see everyone i won't get to see a lot of my friends and family to say bye some of them i haven't seen prior to the pandemic actually the day they announced that they were gonna start a curfew or I think the day we had our first case confirmed was when we had our farewell party because we were supposed to leave in April. And so a lot of people didn't come to that because they were scared because COVID was now here, right? So we get, did get to see some people back then. And I'll maybe put some footage of that in this video. I think I have some footage from that. But we weren't able to see everyone. And so it was really sad and unfortunate. And if you're listening to this and I don't get to see you, I do love you. Um, you know, I do love you so much and I'm so sorry that I didn't get to see you before we left. Um, and we're going to be a little ways away. <laughs> so I think I'm going to see everyone in, in the summer, you know, Lord willing. And, um, you know, if I come home here and there, we'll see how it goes. But it's just been a lot. And then we're flying through Florida and Florida has so many cases of COVID. For comparison, I think the Bahamas still has eight live cases, no more hospitalizations. I think we had a hundred and something total cases, like, you know, throughout the whole span since March, but now we only have like eight live cases. And we have to fly through Florida, and Florida has like thousands and thousands. I think they got 5,000 new cases in one day. 
And so that alone is causing anxiety. And then just getting settled, moving into an apartment, starting over. We have no car. We're only traveling with clothes. We have no furniture, no phones, no bank accounts. Like everything, everything you can think of that needs to be done. And I mean like, you know, we're good for it and God is good and able. And I'm sure it's going to be okay. But it's so stressful. And every time, I, every, every time someone asks me if I'm excited, I'm like, I can't get excited yet. And of course I'm rambling because I'm stuck in this lane of traffic but anyway I just wanted you guys to see what it's like I'm currently so stressed I feel like this is the most stressed I've been in such a long time I feel so very stressed about all of the things that need to be done all of the expectations you know the commitments at work and just, it's a lot <laughs> it's so it's a lot but you know God doesn't put anything on you that you can't bear and he is able and he's gonna grant us favor and I trust him and I believe in him and I know it's gonna be well done and gonna be excited about this new chapter so I'm gonna sign off for now love you guys hope you're well staying safe I hope your family is good and even if things don't look good right now know that God is still with you God is still in it and everything's gonna be a-okay hugs so we're back at our house doing some detail cleaning. I'm cleaning the oven rack. Getting those off. I already did this one and that's one that isn't done. The cats got their um, health certificates so they're all clear to travel. They want to get out of there so bad but they can't yet because hubby went to get some kitty litter. And pretty much everything is out. We just installed that fan because this fan wasn't working the whole time we were here. We never had that. My brother and cousin are upstairs doing some cleaning. Hey! All clean and cleared out. All clean and cleared out. We actually lowered this. This is to be so high for me. There needs to be another shelf there. But for a woman, it's kind of annoying because my dresses would bulk up. So happy with how that turned out. I got these custom built-ins done. It needs to be tightened a little bit, but I love them. I also had those. Sew it on. Some of the handles in our bathroom that broke off. Hey. Hi, my precious. Precious girl, come brave. I love you. I love you. Clean up your eyes. I love you, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. You're so hot. <laughs> Hi, baby. So last night in Nassau, and we just finished doing some packing. I'm eating a mango. Oh, how you feel, babe? Hold on. 
How you feel? <clears throat> Leaving your homeland behind. I feel like going on. Okay, can I have your real emotions now, please? I feel sad. Sad? What are you going to miss the most? My family. And then my dogs. Yep, I'm going to miss the dogs too. We had to leave our two dogs behind. We're only taking our two cats because of um, apartment restrictions until we find a place that can accommodate them. So that has been rough. But what are you looking forward to, babe? Okay. What do you mean? It's different food. Cheap food. Cheaper stuff. I'm looking forward to. Lower Amazon, cost of living. Amazon door deliveries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to sign off tonight. Next time you see us, we'll either be in the airport or we'll be at our final destination. Depends on how it goes. Bye. Say bye, babe. Bye, guys. All my makeup is the reality <laughs> of flying during the pandemic. <laughs> Gotta be all masked up. What a time to be alive. This is literally history. Our cats are coming. We had to leave our two dogs. They're gonna be with my sister in law. And we're pretty much ready to go. Nothing too, oops, nothing too fancy for my outfit. I'm gonna put on some kicks and a jean jacket. And this is our shirt from our anniversary. Since we're entering a new chapter together, I thought it would be fitting. And yeah, pretty simple. Very simple. Just wanna be comfortable as I travel. We have a long day, very long day, traveling with animals for the first time. Whew, I don't know, but we're gonna make it. And God is going to be with us, and we're just very, we're getting excited. Everyone asks me, are you excited, are you excited? Um, you know, hard to say, because we haven't been able to tell a lot of people bye. But we're excited for the new chapter, and what that's going to bring for our marriage and our family unit. So, definitely in that respect. We are excited, and um, we'll keep you in the loop. So, I actually started this YouTube channel in preparation for moving away. Because I wanted to keep our family in the loop of what's going on with us. And so this is the way that they get to see the insights and really keep up to date with us. And so they don't feel so far away. And I hope you enjoy our videos. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, sign up for notifications so you know exactly when we post. And continue to join our family. And be part of the tribe. We're now waiting to board the plane. That's one. <coughs> Everyone. Hey, sweet boy. He's not feeling too good at all. He's pissed. <laughs> I see. I know. I know. Hey, sweet boy. <laughs>